You guys want to see what my macros look like for me and for my puppy? Check it out. Welcome everyone to my poorly lit camper. Now, I'm cooking food and I'm making a friggin' mess as usual, but I will clean it all up. Let's see how much of my ribeye I should be eating. So check it out. This is probably an eight ounce ribeye here. And I start cutting it to get my portion, which is a little bit less than four ounces. That's going to be my portion of ribeye for tonight. You guys want to see how much protein I freaking consume. And I've also got deer meat cooking. Now, I tried to give my puppy raw deer meat, but he's not eating it right now. So I'm cooking it for him. But I'm also cooking it for me for another day. So this is meal prepping. So I have uh, some deer meat here. Of course, broccoli. And then this is Deo's food right here. Now I've got a little bit of rice in there. I decided to do the dog omnivorous diet rather than straight just meat for now. And this is the first time I've made jasmine rice in I don't know how long. Then of course over here I'm mixing liver in. So he's got liver, deer meat, sweet potato, jasmine rice, and looks pretty good. But I just really want to show you guys that if you're going to do a protein portion, there is no reason why y'all are eating this much. I don't understand. In fact, when I opened up the package of this ribeye, it was two of these. And women are eating that for a meal because somebody told you that you need more protein to build muscle? No. Fix your hormones before eating all that food. I'm always so confused on why people say that, you know, oh, I'm fasting to give my stomach a break, but then they'll go and eat something that size. Now on camera, it may not look that big, but in person that is ginormous and it's got a lot of fat on it. Now, protein, moderate to low. I've done two or three videos just recently trying to push lower protein, higher in fat, 200 grams. And look at the comment section when people have done this. They're like, oh my God, I feel so much better. For those transitioning out of a carnivore diet to a ketogenic diet, you only need about a handful. I'm not going to eat this all this broccoli. I probably split it up into two meals. I might have cruciferous vegetables every other day, two times a week. I always have an avocado. I like broccoli. I like asparagus, of course, because it's a prebiotic fiber. But this is a ketogenic omnivorous diet. Carnivore, if you look at my comment section, most people are having issues with eating meat only and not enough fiber for the bacteria of the, the little gut that, right there, right there. And of course, we're going to do the alien egg that's got tons of potassium. This is a large one. This is more like 800 milligrams of potassium. You can have one to two of these a day and you do not count the carbohydrates because of the fat and fiber slow down the rate at which the carbs hit the blood. So don't count the carbs and avocado, high monounsaturated fat, but tons of potassium if you don't have a sensitivity to it. Here you go, guys, the perfect ketogenic dinner. I've got the whole avocado. I've got three tablespoons of fat on the plate. Normally I have about six. But here we got three tablespoons of butter and we've got about a little bit more than three and a half ounces to almost four ounces of a ribeye and a little bit of broccoli. And that's how you do it. That's one meal. Maybe one day I'll do the whole day, which is pretty much the same. Except maybe I may not have the broccoli. I'll just have the avocado, the butter and the meat. Comment below if you guys are struggling with your macros, if you're confused because somebody said that 
you're just supposed to eat as much meat as possible or as much fat as possible and you're unsure of what to do or if you want to acclimate back to vegetables how to do it comment below also this puppy is driving me crazy literally I'm trying to eat and this is what he's doing I don't think so son if you want to learn more go to stephanieperson.com and book a consultation because I've been doing this for way too long and I feel like I can do it with my eyes closed that puppy is challenging me tonight also get ready for the challenge signups will start in January I also run a course you can sign up through stephanieperson.com and I'm out because I'm hungry Thanks. oh subscribe and share this content